Hi, I'm Christy Maver, VP of Marketing at Numenta, and I'm here today with Jeff Hawkins, co-founder of Numenta. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Christy. And I am here to talk uh, with Jeff today about his new book, A Thousand Brains, A New Theory of Intelligence, uh, which comes out March 2nd. So this uh, video will be an overview about the book, and we'll be putting out some more videos that go in depth about the content in the book. Uh, but Jeff, you and I uh, spoke about a year ago, January 2020, a lot has changed since then, for sure. Uh, but we talked about the book, you were in the process of writing it, it didn't have a title, uh, but you were well on your way. As we sit here today, the writing is done, it's being printed, it's a matter of weeks until it comes out on March 2nd. Uh, so talk to us about this book at, at a high level. Um, what is A Thousand Brains about? Well, for those, uh, some people who are watching these videos will know this, but for, for those who don't, um, Nementa and I lead a research team um, that studies the brain uh, from a neuroscience and information theory point of view. And uh, we've been at this for quite a while. And um, we have made some very significant discoveries over the past few years about how parts of the brain work and what makes us intelligence and, and the nature of intelligence. And so uh, those have been all printed up in, in neuroscience papers, uh, which have done very well, uh, but they're hard to read. Most people, even neuroscientists have trouble reading papers like this, they're very technical papers. And so the ideas can be understood by anyone, and, uh, so, but they kind of require a book length treatment to do that. So the book is really is to, 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 to describe to anybody um, what, you know, how their brain works, what does it mean to be intelligent, what is actually going on in your head when you're thinking and, and seeing stuff in, in detail. Um, I think this is uh, important. I mean, uh, it's important, everyone, almost everyone is curious about this. And, uh, and as I talk about in the book, there's a lot of implications for this theory of what we've learned that, um, that it, it, it really covers a broad range of topics because once we know how the brain works, what it means to be intelligent, um, it impacts how we think about artificial intelligence and about humanity and about our future. So the book lays out sort of a, a, this detailed theory that anyone can understand and talk about its implications. And I think it's, a, it's an important thing to everyone to know this. Yeah, so, so that, that brings me to my next question, which is you, you wrote the book in three parts. Um, so the, the first part covers the, the theory itself, and then the second part is really about machine intelligence, and the third part is about human intelligence, um, talking about the implications of understanding how the brain works. Um, why, why did you decide to, to write it this way in these, in these three different parts? Well, it wasn't uh, obvious up front when we started writing the book, or when I started writing the book. Um, I really wanted to cover the theory and like, okay, what have we learned about the brain? What is intelligence? How does the brain, what's going on in, when you're thinking and so on. But then there are these other implications which are really um, profound in some ways. And so today we're on the verge of building intelligent machines in the world. It's gonna be a, a, a very important technology in the 21st century. And what we've learned about the brain tells us a lot about AI. It tells us, first of all, why today's AI is not intelligent, what we have to do to make it intelligent and it also tells us about the risks and benefits of AI that are different than most people think. Um, and so I felt that was the second section. I was like, we should really should address this major technological issue because we have something important to say about it. And then finally, the last section, um, it's just partly personal, uh, but I think it's also interesting to almost everybody. It was really like, okay, if we, if we think about ourselves as humans as an intelligent species, our intelligence, which makes us uh, unique, really nothing else is unique about us as a species. And all the things we've ever done in life from arts and literature and science, all a matter of the brain and our brain and how it works. Well, if you start thinking about the humans this way, it, it changes the way you think about uh, maybe what our role in the universe is and what we should be doing and, and, the, and, the, and, our, and what's different about us and what's not different about us. So in the last section of the book, I address things such as why, you know, false beliefs, what, how do we know things are true and not true, and how do we sometimes think things are false, and what we can do about that, and, um, and how, how to think about humanity going forward. So it's a bit it's really broad brush stroke about um, a sort of philosophical look, okay, given you know what intelligence is now, and it's not what most people think it is, um, and, and given we know that, and that's what makes us special as a, as a species, how should we, what might we do differently going forward? Uh, and so I, I incorporate all of this under this one 
you know, broad theory of what intelligence is. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's fair to say that there are some thought provoking and new ideas um, that, that will probably surprise people, um, in, especially in that in that third part of the book. So. Yeah, I think that's true. We, we've seen that already. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So um, can you talk a little bit about, I know some people uh, watching this and some people uh, that are planning to read this book will have also read On Intelligence. So how is A Thousand Brains different than On Intelligence? And, and do, do the two relate? Yeah, I, you know, On Intelligence was a book I wrote about 15 years ago. Uh, it was my first book. And um, in that, we, we, we described, uh, I described, I, I wrote it with Sandra Blakesley. Uh, we described, um, you know, the, the nature of the brain, uh, what, the different parts, what part is really responsible for intelligence. And we kind of laid out a very broad idea about how to think about intelligence um, as a predictive model of the world. And uh, all that's still true. Uh, but we didn't understand the details back then. We just didn't know, I, I couldn't tell you exactly how it worked. I was like, okay, there's a lot of, you know, these ideas are interesting and so on, and they're probably right, but you know, the, the concepts. But now we know a lot of the details. I mean, we really down to, you know, the neurons and parts of neurons. And, um, and so it's a much more complete theory than we laid out on intelligence. And there were surprising things we did not know in non-intelligence. There's, a, there's uh, some real surprising discoveries which we had no idea about 15 years ago. Uh, which now all stuff, everything clicks together. So it's kind of a follow on in some sense. It's not a, it's not an update on intelligence. It's not intended to be that way. It's a, it's its own read, but, um, and it doesn't conflict with on intelligence. It's just a much, um, it goes much, much further than uh, we could do back then. So you don't necessarily need to read on intelligence to no, be- No, you don't. To you don't have to read on intelligence brain. at all. Uh, I made sure of that. Uh, I made sure that uh, the, a thousand brains uh, is a book that any pretty much anyone can read, and um, it's uh, and I try to make it easy. Um, I've been walk you through everything from beginning to end, so we, there's very little assumptions about your knowledge about the brain or the history of intelligence. Yes, and in to quote Richard Dawkins, who wrote uh, the foreword for the book, um, which is uh, which is one of my favorite parts uh, about it. Um, he, I believe he called it brilliant and exhilarating. So, yes, he was very generous in his forward. Yeah, I'll let readers get to that on their own, but those are, that's some of the words he used to describe it. Yeah. Well, I look forward to discussing um, in future videos. We'll get more into, we'll, we'll, what we'll do is a video on each part of the book. So we'll go into a little more detail on, um, on the different parts. Yeah. I look forward to talking with you about it and i um, excited for its release. March yeah. 2nd, A Thousand Brains, A New Theory of Intelligence. And we'll put a link uh, to the listing on Amazon um, in the video description. Yeah, because you can order it now. You can order it now. <laughs> All right. All right, Jeff, thanks for your time. And yeah. we'll, we'll talk we'll, more. Soon. We'll be back talking about the first section. Great. Thank you. Bye. -bye.